Hello, welcome once again. This is actually a circuit for foldable mirrors. You know, when you're in your car and you want the mirrors to be folded so it doesn't get hit by a coming vehicle close enough to your car? Well, that accessory is here. Now, when you think about things moving, the first thing should come to your mind is motors. Motors control the motion of something. Whether it's power windows, the windows coming down, power seats, all these are involved with motors and switches. This is not different from that case. As you see over here, this circuit over here is, is for the right, and this is called the retract actuator, which is actually a motor. This is a symbol for a motor. So right power mirror is for the passenger. There's a module over here, another module over here. There's a switch. And also there's another motor over here for the left side, for the left power mirror. Now, when you start to analyze this, the first thing that comes to your mind is, like we just said, motor, a motor. One for one side, one for the other side. Well, you have to control these motors somehow. That's where these modules come into play. A switch is over here, a retract switch. Let's say you want the mirrors to be folded, okay? You're in a parking spot, and you don't want it to get uh, a hit by a car. So that signal will come into this module over here called the master switch. And why is it called the master? Because this master switch is usually infers that it's in control of everything. So this one surely is controlling this one of it, which is the left side, left power mirror, which is for the driver. You see another wire over here going to another module. This controls then the front passenger, which is the passenger side, one for the driver, one for the passenger. Why is it called the master switch? He controls both driver, passenger through this. So in other words, this master switch, let's say you want this one over here, the, the left power switch, that's for the driver side. That switch is activated, he will in, in turn activate the motor from the module to turn the mirror to fold the mirror in let's say the opposite for the passenger he will send a signal to this one to this module to send this one this motor or the right side for the passenger in so he's in control like we said of everything that's why he's called the master let's say you have a problem where both don't turn both don't fold in who can you blame? Go to the module over here or the switch. Because he is the master, he is a common to both. If let's say I have a problem with one side, let's say, uh, let's say the left side for the driver, then I can say maybe it is the motor on that side or the other one. But when you have both conditions, could be him, obviously, because he's the master, but you always do one thing. Make sure he's getting B+. Plus. This is the B plus line. But just wanted to go over a quick thing that keep in mind when you have accessories, the more electronics you have, the more problems you're going to have, unfortunately. But remember one thing, modules are involved. There's 30, 40 modules. Eventually, they're going to go with fiber optic in the harness instead of these hard wiring. So they're going to change to fiber optic, which is light, and we're going to have more problems coming up. But anyway... I just wanted to show you, whenever you have a problem, think of one thing. Modules, modules, modules control other modules. That's how it is. And this is just a proof of that. Anyway, go to my channel, Joe, Electronic Schematics for Auto. My other one, Automotive, Electronic Schematics by Joseph. I'm trying to get that one monetized. Thanks for monetizing the other channel. And thanks for watching.